New developments in a criminal case against Nicholas Rossi, the man accused of faking his death and fleeing the country to avoid sex assault charges. Today, one of the three Utah cases against him was dismissed. Well, new specialist Shara Park joins us to explain why. And Shara, what is this all about? All right, well, Debbie, Nicholas Rossi is facing two rape charges in Utah, one here in Salt Lake County and one in Utah County. But he's also facing that third charge of sexual battery in Utah County, or he was until today. Today, the Utah County attorney asked for that sexual battery charge to be dismissed. The motion to dismiss case ending 1365 is granted. The case will be dismissed without prejudice. We have... Uh... According to the Utah County Attorney's Office, the 2008 sexual batter case had to be dismissed because it wasn't listed in the DOJ's extradition order to bring Rossi to Utah from Scotland, where he was discovered in a hospital being treated for COVID-19 and living under an alias. That DOJ order was specifically for the felony rape charges. The Utah County Attorney's Office told me today that they were aware that the sexual, sexual battery case, uh, which is a misdemeanor, would need to be dismissed once, once Rossi arrived in Utah. I was also told that the sexual battery victim had been consulted throughout the process and was aware that the case would be dismissed today. Now, moving forward, the Utah County attorney will now focus on that rape case, which is the felony case. That's the first one to be tried. Then we'll find out what happens here in the Salt Lake case. But Rossi's next appearance will be in court in Utah County on March 5th. For Live at 5 in Salt Lake County, I'm Sheriff Park.